Hey, it's Sam Fikel from Evergreen Home Loans. Now, everybody wants an affordable mortgage payment, right? Nothing wrong with that. But I get a lot of first time buyers that approach me and say, hey, I really want a super low mortgage payment and I'll be fine with a manufactured home. And there's nothing wrong with manufactured homes themselves, but oftentimes what I find is that what they're referring to are these $100,000 listings on Zillow in the middle of town that have an estimated payment of $500 a month, which by the way is totally unrealistic. And they have this misconception about what that property, what that structure is. So here's four reasons why you actually don't want that manufactured home. Reason number one, you're still going to be paying rent. As it turns out, these particular structures in almost all cases are the manufactured home on a rented lot in an RV park. And realistically, whoever owns this RV park can charge whatever they want in lot rent for you to live there. And so this can be anywhere from $200 to $500 a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the amenities, depending on the location, depending on all sorts of different factors here. But bottom line is you're still going to be paying rent. Second, you can't get a normal mortgage. Since it doesn't come with the land, it's not real estate. It's personal property. Huge difference there. None of the agencies, which is FHA, VA, USDA, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac, none of the agencies will purchase loans from lenders that uh, originate these loans without the real estate. So the only ones who can do these loans are local community banks and credit unions that'll keep the loans on their books. So they can't sell these loans to these agencies. Therefore, if they're going to be keeping them on their books, the interest rates are probably going to be higher. They're probably going to have stricter qualification requirements like credit score and debt to income ratio. And they're probably going to want 20% down. All of the ones that I've found out about are requiring 20% down. So yes, they can make the rules, but that those tend to be the rules that they make, right? They're, and forget about any kind of first time buyer benefits or down payment assistance. That's definitely not going to happen with these particular types of purchases. Number three, they go down in value over time. Remember, you're not purchasing real estate, you're purchasing personal property. And just like cars, cars, the older that they get, the less desirable they become, the less valuable they are. And so over time, these structures will become worth less and less and less and less. So you're actually not investing in a home. Yes, you can sell them to help qualify for your next one. So there's some benefit there, but otherwise it, you can't count on it going up in value like it would with a regular house that's on its own land. And the fourth reason is that you're going to be paying more, okay? Between the lot rent, between the higher interest rates, between the more difficult insurance premiums, which I didn't even talk about, and the greater down payment requirement, you might as well just get a regular house for an equivalent monthly payment and equivalent down payment. Realistically, it doesn't cost that much more to get a stick build or even a manufactured home on its own land. Now, speaking of which, a manufactured home on a rented lot and a manufactured home on its own land are completely different ball games. Manufactured homes that come on their own land are eligible to be financed by all of the major agencies, and you can even use your down payment assistance loans, your first time buyer benefits, all of that stuff, right? The difference though, is that there's some additional fees that come with purchasing these properties because uh, sometimes they might require a foundation inspection. Uh, if it's been moved though, then you can only use a VA loan for it. And if you're getting a conventional loan, the minimum down payment is 5%. Even if you're using down payment assistance, the minimum down payment is always 5% for conventional. So just keep that in mind. But if it's FHA or VA or USDA, the down payments remain the same, three and a half, zero and zero respectively. So. I hope that that helped clear up some misconceptions about manufactured homes and that those cheap listings on Zillow really aren't what you think they might be. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.